To the seven-year-old girl who had to watch me and my brothers jump her daddy after school, I'm sorry. I know that was probably a traumatizing experience for you, but we kept asking you to stop bullying my daughter and you wouldn't listen. We sent letters home. We even had a meeting with you and your parents and you wouldn't listen. So now you know your actions have consequences. And since you too young to receive those consequences, you had to watch your daddy take those consequences. Get some therapy. You'll be all right. A lot of y'all keep asking why I didn't fight this man one-on-one and why I got my brothers to jump him in front of his seven-year-old daughter. And the answer is simple. Life is not fair. You get jumped by responsibilities every day. Bullying is not fair because you're picking on somebody that's essentially a weaker vessel and that's smarter than you. So I wanted to make sure she saw what it looked like when a fight is not fair and you don't have no choice but to let somebody jump you so she could get the concept of what she was doing. Sometimes kids learn from what they see and not what they hear. So I wanted it to be a visual experience, okay? I'm out here doing the Lord's work, okay? God is pleased with me whether or not y'all are. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Esmond, coming back to you with another video. Yo, man, look, as you just seen in that freaking video, dog, look, we are diving to a wild story, man. And this one's been actually been making rounds around social media. Uh, so just to go ahead and give you a little background, so it's pretty much about a father from Arizona who, you know, took matters into his own hands in a rather unconventional way, man. So he pretty much he didn't want to stop his daughter from being bullied. Let's go ahead and break it down. So look, there's this guy, you know, who basically was fed up with his daughter, you know, being bullied by a seven-year-old girl. Uh, apparently, after multiple attempts to get the bullying to stop, he decided enough was enough. Instead of, you know, basically, you know, continue to talk to the school or even talk to the bully's parents, he decided, you know what? fuck all that i'm gonna take a more direct approach um so basically what he did was he tracked down the bully's father uh, and along with his brothers his brothers uh, they jumped the bully's father after school um and yeah you did hear that right the bully's father they jumped the bully's father at the school um instead of you know continue talking to school and just talking with the father and just talking about uh he, he jumped the uh, bully's dad you know basically teach him a lesson about bullying um also man this incident Really, everybody's talking about it right now. The father of the bully claims he was just trying to protect his daughter, uh, you know, and teach the bully a lesson. Uh, the incident has sparked a lot of debate online. Some people are siding with the dad, saying that sometimes you have to do whatever it takes to protect your kids. Others, on the other hand, believe, you know, violence is never the answer and that there were better ways to handle the situation. What's even crazier is that the dad of the bully ended up, you know, being jumped in front of the bully. It was a wild scene. It's really got people thinking, you know, about the links of parenting. Uh, you know, that'll go on for their kids. Now, we all know bullying is a serious issue and it can have, you know, lasting impacts on kids. But does that really justify taking such drastic measures? Uh, I want to know what y'all think down below. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think the dad was right to take matters into his own hands or did he go too far? If you did enjoy this video, man, as always, hit that like button for your boys. Subscribe so you never miss any new notifications and hit that bell so you never miss an update. And as always, folks, until next time, it's your boy Ezra signing off, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.